Hi and welcome to Techflix Tutorials. Uh, this is a very quick tutorial uh, just explaining why you might want to format a USB stick from FAT32, which most of them will be uh, FAT32 by default, to NTFS or XFAT. Uh, the reason you might want to do this is because there's a limit on FAT32 where it can't actually you can't actually write any files that are full gigabyte or larger to a FAT32 disk, which is a bit annoying, uh, especially if you've got a film, say on my desktop here, I've got a film which is 5.24 gig. I'm trying to write it to an 8 gigabyte USB, but it's formatted to FAT32. I'll just show you that. So if I right click on this and I go to properties, you can see there's FAT32. Okay, it's 8 gig, it's FAT32. Um, you can also see it at the bottom there in your explore window. Okay, so here's the issue. If I right click on this, I go send to, send to I. As soon as I do that, it's going to give me a little error message. It's going to say that the film is too big for the uh, disk. It's not actually too big for the disk. It's just that the disk is formatted to FAT32, which is giving me the error. So let's kill that. So what we want to do is format it to something that can actually handle larger files uh, so those options are on Windows by default it's going to be NTFS or it's going to be XFAT okay normally I do everything by NTFS uh, but you may want to use XFAT the reason you might want to do that is so that uh, say you're swapping between different computers or you take a film to a friend's house and they've got a Macintosh um, I mean, they're going to be able to read from a USB that is XFAT, so you can obviously copy files over onto the Mac, but you won't be able to actually write back to that uh, USB stick if it's NTFS, uh, because Macs obviously can't write to NTFS. I mean, you can enable it with third party programs, but by default, you can't. So for this exercise, we're just going to click on NTFS and hit start. Hit OK, you're going to get a little warning, so make sure you read that because everything on the disk is going to be nuked. Um, so make sure there's nothing on there that you're going to miss. Hit OK. Okay, it's going to start the process um, and it shouldn't take too long about five seconds, ten seconds, really depends on the speed of your computer. <clears throat> okay, so once it's done, click OK and then close that little dialog box. Now that's uh, NTFS see down there in the dialog window. Now when we right click on that, we go send to, we go I, and it starts copying it over. Um, how long that's going to take, so obviously, again, depending on your computer, hardware, whatever. Okay, that's it. Um, let's just go through that again, just to make sure you got it. Right click on your USB that you actually want to format. I mean, you can do this with other disks, but just be really careful because if you've got a lot of data on there, it's, uh, you're going to have to go through a recovery process once you get that back. So make sure you select the correct one, right click on it, and go format. And this just for exercise, let's just do XFAT. Uh, you won't have any problems reading or writing uh, to XFAT with Windows um, or Macintosh, so it's not a problem. Hit start, click OK. Okay, when it's done, close that. Then obviously you can either drag it straight in there, copy it over there, uh, right click on it, send to I, or just open that up and just drag it straight into the USB stick itself, and you won't have any problems copying over at all. Okay, uh, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed that. 